We're not going to make our productions out loud, but we can discuss this. We'll start with Best Actor. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw Rami Malek win the uh, the Golden Globe. Right. Do you, do you see anything uh, hurting Bohemian Rhapsody with the controversy surrounding the director? Mm -hmm. uh, possibly. Possibly. Uh, I was told not to actually give my prediction, so... We're not going to uh, give predictions, I, but we're, we're going to just discuss discuss who we think. Uh, front runner here is Christian Bale. Yeah. All right, so I've put yeah. up a blocker between us. We're going to make our predictions here, <laughs> and we are going to uh, see who come Monday morning, and Heidi's going to make okay. her predictions at home. So I'm yeah. going to do, uh, I'm not going to give anything away, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of a long shot here. Okay. Now, moving on to Best Actress. Okay. All right, there's been a lot of hype around <clears throat> Roma. Do you think this, uh, I mean, you know, not to get into what you think and whatnot, but mm -hmm. do you think that this performance was strong enough to make her a front runner? On this list, maybe not. Um, Glenn Close and, uh, and Olivia Coleman have kind of been the ones racking up the awards so far. Lady Gaga had some steam early on in award mm -hmm. season, but not so much anymore. Well, a, star, a Star is Born had a lot of steam early it did. on, and, and now uh, it but it, it really has kind of dropped off in terms right. of odds. A lot of people right. expected a big turnout at the, uh, the Golden Globes. just didn't happen. Right. And why do you think that is? I'm not sure. It's very strange. Uh, it, I, I guess because it came so early in award season, it was kind of the first big Oscar contender in October, and I guess other things have come along and just replaced it in, in voters' minds. All right, yeah. so we're not given our permission, but there's a lot of, I think Best Actress is probably the strongest category in terms of performances. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident, Sean. Where is Heidi Alaga? Heidi Alaga is probably at home doing research for this because this is her This is her big every year. You'll see her live tweeting along. She's feeling a little under the weather, but I'm sure that she's up, ready, and competitive right now because she is really confident. How am I going to believe that she didn't fill this out, wait and fill this out after the Oscars? That's true. She's going to have to, she's going to, have to tweet a picture of her envelope. And our executive producer says we'll, uh, okay. keep, we'll keep her honest. Right. Now, the final category <laughs> we're predicting here is best picture. Okay. All right. A lot of good ones here. Stars born early hype, Vice right. early hype. Mm -hmm. Do you see uh, any upsets on the horizon here? Possibly. This is one of those years where there isn't a r serious front runner that's an obvious choice. Really? Um, I would say there's several along here, three or four, that have about the same odds. I know as we've gotten closer to the show, Roma has gotten uh, a lot of people talking. Right. Um, is, it's a foreign language film, is that mm -hmm. correct? Right. Spanish language, black and white. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that, that's. That's an appeal for a certain uh, a film, uh, fil film buff, if sure. that makes sense. Sure. So we're looking forward to that. That's, of course, Sunday night. We'll tell you those results and who got what right come Monday morning.